Uh, I feel really good. Uh, yeah, it's, I blew my knee, which was unfortunate, but you know, kind of gave me time to um, you know, recuperate you know, mentally, physically, and uh, you know, I think I'm gonna be. How it was in your mind when you got injured? Well, yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's part of the game. Um, you know, I just try to focus on, you know, dude, obviously getting my legs stronger, you know, getting 100% with my with my ACL, uh, and also, um, you know, kind of. Working on my personal development as a mixed martial artist, and uh, you know, I think I'm gonna come back stronger. I know I am. And it, uh, you're going through an, an interesting moment of your career where you lost three of your four or less fights, but you you've been awarded three bonuses, fight bonuses. What do you think of, of this moment of your career? Um, well, I think that it's important to get in there and, and get back on on, on track and, and uh, you know start making my way towards the title. And, and Tiago Alves is the, the the next opponent, or the ne next obstacle in, in that path. Um, but I try not to think of the, the bigger picture right now. I have to focus on on uh, Tiago Alves, who's you know a very very tough tough opponent. So um, yeah, you know I'll, I'll be ready. How do you analyze him? Sorry. How do you analyze him? Um, he is a very very good striker. Uh, obviously, I mean that that's his bread and butter. I think he's a, a well-rounded mixed martial artist. He's got. Good wrestling. He's got good, really good jujitsu, um, but um, you know, mainly he's, he's a striker. You know, kind of traditional Muay Thai sense. Um, you know, very, very strong physically, um, and you know, it's, it's going to be tough. But I, I feel like we have a good game plan, a good strategy, and if I come in prepared, I'm going to walk away with the win. And if, and how do you think you're going to win? Um, I think a finish, uh, finish you know, later, later in the fight, maybe fourth or fifth round. After what happened with Tyron Woodley, do you have any special concerns on your training about checking his kicks and, and not leaving him uh, lose his Muay Thai on you? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't want to you know, take take too many you know heavy leg kicks from from anybody, let alone Tiago, who's probably got some of the heaviest leg kicks in in, in the division. Um, so yeah, that's something we're definitely taking into consideration. But you know, I'm I'm an experienced Muay Thai fighter myself, and. You know, it's uh, as long as I go in there and implement my game and fight to to my to my strategy, I, I think I'll be all right. And what do you think of the next title fight in the division, Lawler versus McDonald? Uh, it's an exciting fight. I think Rory has looked phenomenal, like like flawless lately, and I think that I think it's going to be a different fight from the, the first time around. What about Jones, your teammate, who's fighting Anthony Johnson? How do you see that fight? Um, it's a tough fight, and everybody that I think is going to give Jones a, a, a hard a hard time, you know, John finds a way to win, and he finds a way to win decisively. He's just he's, he's a, just a very very special special guy. You made an incredible fight against uh, Jenny Hendricks that I remember. For you, what is, what is the most exciting fight uh, since you were fighting? Uh, there's been a lot, but that the, the Johnny Hendricks fight was, was really exciting. Um, um, Dan Hardy, I mean, even like my, my fight with uh, uh, GSP, you know, I, I didn't win, but that was you know a really really tough fight, and I learned a lot from it. And I didn't I didn't come away with the belt, but you know the experience is something that you can't uh, you can't trade.